Hello everyone, this is Jamie Birch, CEO of JEB Commerce. Today, in this video, we're going to recap uh, and kind of point you to a blog post we recently did uh, on the truth about coupon sites. So what we wanted to do is really get down to the nitty gritty of do they have value? So a common uh, story or argument that's going on in the affiliate industry and really has been going on for uh, probably more than a decade is what is the value of the coupon sites? Many retailers will say, uh, I don't need them. They're taking credit for orders we're already getting. And there was a lot of what we felt about those sites. And what I've known for myself anyway, when we go on emotions, a lot of times we can make wrong decisions. So I wanted to go out and find out what does the data say about this type of affiliate. So I contacted all the affiliate networks. I also contacted all the coupon sites. Unfortunately, when we did this uh, blog, this, this study of sorts, uh, was right before Q4. The affiliates were all geared up to take advantage of that season. They weren't able to participate. So we hope to do a follow-up uh, blog post on, uh, on their data. But we were able to get Linkshare, CJ, uh, even Google and Comscore. Thank you, CJ, for passing that info from them along. Uh, Partnerize, and then Link Connector did a tremendous job uh, of getting us a lot of data. So all those networks supplied a lot of data, and we even had some uh, from our very own retailers in that blog post that we'll link to here or maybe over here. Uh, but let me share some of the data that came out of it because it was very interesting. So from all these sources, we found that 31% of coupon-driven orders were full-price products, not discount. Uh, coupon orders had a 14% higher average order value than non-coupon orders. Uh, coupon affiliates generated 5% more revenue. 33% of coupon transactions, uh, those customers actually made four more transactions than, non than customers who came through non-coupon sites. 69% of the time, coupons were added before items were put in uh, the shopping cart. So that's, that refutes one really big uh, problem that people have with coupon sites. Uh, if you're not familiar with that concept, we call it cart sniping, and that's where uh, you go to Bed Bath & Beyond or Johnson & Murphy, you make a perch, you, you put something in your cart, and then you go search for a coupon, and the coupon affiliate gets credit for that. Typically, that's frowned upon. But what we found in some of this data was there's a large percentage of coupon users that aren't behaving that way, and enough to be compelling to, to keep them in your program. 27% uh, of the time, coupon sites introduced the consumer to the brand, and a whole lot of other, other data uh, that's very compelling. I encourage you to check it out. If you're on the fence about coupon affiliates of whether to work with them, definitely go to our blog, and we'll include the link uh, in the description uh, on the video here, so you can go check out for yourself. And this is real data uh, from the networks on what's going on with coupon consumers specifically. So hopefully that will uh, help you in what you're doing and evaluating this uh, category of affiliates. Uh, and then if you have any other questions, please let us know. But that's really what the truth is about, affiliate, about coupon affiliates uh, is in a lot of ways they can add a lot of value. So thank you for watching. And if you need anything, just reach out to us at jebcommerce.com.